Dear friends in the global YMCA movement, 11 October 2021 is the 200th anniversary of the birth in Somerset, England of our founder, George Williams. And here he is, watching over me in my office. He reminds me of an Old Testament prophet. He lives to a ripe old age. But let us forget that he was just 22 when he established the YMCA in England. And that when nine countries formed the Global YMCA in 1855, all 99 delegates were under 25. We are a youth empowerment organization. And he was an empowered young man who empowered millions of others. Before I say what he means to me, I would like you to watch this short video piece. You will hear Sir George actual voice in 1894 for just 15 precious seconds. Enjoy this. Manhood of America is a gift to the world. How important that it should be definitely and decidedly on the side of truth and right. Cherish the desire to be useful to young men individually by leaving them foot to the cross. Those were were then, as we are now, in the global movement firmly rooted in the Christian faith and mightily owned by God. Though I offer the thought that we have subsequently brought our faith alive by embracing people of any, of all or no faith, men and women, boys and girls, people of every possible description everywhere, Often I look at Sir George's picture, conscious of standing on the shoulder of giants. Great men and women have led the YMCA movement through war, depression, disaster, and so many different types of societal revolution. Sometimes I look at this remarkable photo of the YMCA 50th anniversary celebration in England in 1894, taken a day before he recorded the message you just heard. And when I find George there, and when I look at the very white male faces around him, I wonder, what is the face of the YMCA now? It is me, it is her, it is him, it is them, and them, and them. It is all of us, everywhere. George Williams, born 200 years ago, responded to the need of his time. And the Global YMCA, born nearly 200 years ago, is still responding to the need of its time. Just as Sir George has a clear vision and mission, so do we as we chart our path toward our own dysentery. Before we reach that in 2044, we share a deadline with the world on meeting the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal by 2030. Our Drive Vision 2030, which we are discussing with you now across the movement, defines one collective vision, one collective mission, four key impact areas. It's as simple as that. We are true to our 19th century roots, and we are alive to the reality, the huge challenge, and the huge opportunity of the 21st century world. Our journey continues. We work in special footsteps, and we make our own imprint too. We give thanks for the legacy of George William, and we look firmly ahead.